Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday the 24th of January. Again, starting this week's vlog relatively late in the week. We had the guys back in the basement on Monday, which of course we're filming the separate video for the whole basement renovation, but I can confirm it's looking sweet. It's looking really good. And we finally have use of our washing machine and tumble dryer again, hallelujah. And I have a stinking cold, which I've had since. I think I felt it coming on. I felt the foreign antibodies invading my system, my inner tubes on Sunday of last week. So yeah, it's now in full flow and I am just basically living off of this. This is my magic sniffer stick. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit groggy. So we haven't been particularly productive for the first part or for the majority of this week. In this room, I'm in the bedroom, haven't really done anything else. We have ordered the blinds, however, which is good news. I think they're gonna take a couple of weeks to arrive so hopefully maybe the week after next they will arrive so we can show you guys those but today we are actually going to start on the second room now that this room is livable and we're just doing little things so we are actually going to start on the spare bedroom now for those of you guys who are regulars and you watch our vlogs frequently you might remember god when was it maybe like a year ago <laughs> we actually turned that room next door which used to be a bedroom then it was our office and then we turned it back into a bedroom so we bought a bed and um some other little bits of furniture and now we're actually properly going to do something with it however we have had a slight change of plan due to some damp issues so i'm gonna go and give you guys a bit of a tour but there is a forewarning that it looks like an absolute state right now it's so messy right so here we go this is our spare bedroom which is currently home to just any kind of crap which i couldn't be bothered to put away or that we've been using or kind of have put in here for storage from doing our bedroom and possibly any other rooms in the house. So as you can see, Simon's been drawing on the walls, which does give me a little bit of anxiety. Um, but yeah, we have some plans up on here of like layout. Let's zoom in on that one, because I think that's roughly the one we're going with. So we're gonna change the placement of the bed, which yes, folks, there is a bed underneath all of this crap, I promise you. Now, if I pan, over here you will see that we have wardrobes which are very similar to the wardrobes that we have in our bedroom and if I just pop over here you can see the sort of width the thickness of them in the room now up here this is a problematic situation we have noticed Du, 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 some damp and we know exactly why that is so we solved the problem but there's also some damp in this wardrobe here this does happen a lot in old houses I think I've mentioned this before so basically what we've decided to do is rip out these wardrobes because we just feel that they're not the best use of space and they make this room really teeny tiny I can hear you peeping hello more DIY. Yep, I've just been telling everyone you've been drawing all over the walls, which literally makes me feel violently ill. Second profession, artist. Well, I tell you what though, because I have showed people this on um, the Instagram, on the Instagram, I sound like my mum, on Instagram stories. People have been asking what the arc is. <laughs> oh. Right, okay, because uh, I was starting to wonder what the arc was. I was thinking, are we installing an arc? So that's how much gap we got between the right. wardrobes and the ceiling. Right, okay, that the makes sense. The wardrobe is 13, so we right. can fit that and the wardrobes. Right, I see, okay, right, that's, that's that clarified. Right, I've set you guys up in the corner of the room because the first job is to basically have a bit of a tidy up and I need to go through my coat wardrobe, which is just here to the side to figure out where I'm gonna put the coats. Um, and yeah, just a general tidy up of things before we start to, what, move all the furniture out and like... 
Yeah, we'll get everything out so we can take these down and yeah. then we can play around the space. Yeah. Three screws. Um, Going well? No, I've taken one. Actually, I've got four. One, two, three, four. How many are you taken out? One. One out of four. Yeah. And I've demolished half a wardrobe in that time. I'm ill. Uh, still playing that card here. Yeah. Come on, I can't do no more until you've done it. Why not? Can you take this bit off? This is quite the change. Oh, still going. Just absolutely muller in that architrave. Back. Yeah. I've been doing so much heavy lifting, I've got rid of the majority of this wood. You can't complain I haven't done anything and I'm ill. It's better. Yeah, it's so big now. A room where it feels <laughs> not so big, but big uh at least. Yeah, and good Good news, do you want to tell everyone the good news about no, the damp? Good dump? news and bad news. Yeah. Good news. Yeah. It looked like it was just because you had so much stuff in there. Thanks, yeah. So there's no actual mould on the wall, which is good. Yeah. Bad news. Yeah. You just ripped it out for nothing. Wow. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah. Was this the colour it was when we moved in? No, that's the colour we painted it. No, we didn't. Did we really? Bomb. Right, all of the skirting board has come off, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. That's all on here now. And then there's a better look at that carpet. Right. Which was the original carpet before, or when we moved in. But yeah, the wardrobes are all completely down. And we've got our spare floor in here, which we're going to try and like fit into here something re are we rejigging no, no trying he's gonna happen. oh it is going to happen <laughs> okay that's all gonna go in there but we've got no saw and we've got no underlace we need to see if we can find an off cut of underlay so for today we're done in here aren't we well, not going out in a bit, aren't you? i'm going out yeah so i'll show you guys an outfit if i can muster it right i have managed to get myself dressed excuse look at the mess this is how we're currently living just stuff everywhere um i haven't got a bag because basically i'm just off to a bridal shop for my sister-in-law's wedding dress fitting i do not in any way shape or form feel well enough but i would not miss it so i'm going so i've wrapped myself up nice and warm i've got my acne canada scarf on in black this coat is the tailored coat in, I think it's called Brown Melange, something like that, from the Curated. They have an Everlane cashmere roll neck basic on underneath, totem straight leg jeans, and Veja. These are my Campo trainers. They're looking a bit dirty, they need a bit of a clean, but um, yeah, beige and black because, well, it's me. Good morning everyone. We've just been off, it's quite early. We've been off to B&Q and then we had to go and pick up some other bits of shopping. Um, Cause we've had to go and get a saw because we are about to fill in this area. Oh, we're not filling it in right now, are we? Cause we need some underlay. Yeah, we've got to wait for the underlay to come. Got some underlay coming from Simon's sister. Um, so what we're going to do is take up the floor and I presume are we cutting some bits? Yeah, we get it all prepped. So we're going for lunch, aren't we? Aren't yeah, we? going for lunch. We get everything prepped, take <laughs> up the underlay and <laughs> we come back, we're we'll laying back. Right, okay. So this room should be like, the floor should be finished by today. It will be finished, yeah. It, it will be finished. And in more exciting news, we went and got some sample pots this morning so I'm going to swap those on the walls in a minute. Yeah, it's all go. It's another day of DIY. It's already cracking the whip. 
Right, uh, Simon's cracking on trying to get the floor cut and sorted. So whilst he's doing that, I am going to swatch the little sample parts that we went and got from Valspar this morning. I've got four of these little parts um, and this will probably give away the colour scheme that we're planning for the room. And yeah, we've actually gone for Valspar colours this time rather than Farrell like we did in the bedroom. So I'm going to swatch these on the wall so we can kind of see what we're going for. We have already got one swatch on the wall. This is by Dulux and it's called Utterly Olive in Matte. And that was just because we had that left over from the swatches we did in the lounge. Right, we have done, we, <laughs> Simon has done as much as he can with the floor because we need to wait to properly lay it. Everything's been cut and measured and sort of propped in place, but we need to have that underlay before we can properly put it down. And then obviously think about putting the skating board back, which we're not going to do today because this room and the electrics in this house we have discovered since moving here many, many years ago are just a pain in the ass. So, for example, in this room, we've literally just got one plug socket, which is there. So we're going to get um, our usual guy to come in and run a wire down here so that we can have another plug socket, at least over here on this wall, because it just makes things a little bit easier and less difficult in terms of plugging things in. And I think I'm gonna have a mirror over there anyway for like anyone that comes to stay. So if they wanna do makeup on, I don't know, hair, they can plug in their hair utensils. Um, so yeah, that's essentially it. Obviously you've just seen me swatching on the walls. I do not like the two neutral colors, but I am a fan of all the greens. I feel like this one here, this is the Dulux one, the overtly olive I feel like that one's a bit too pale I'm quite drawn to this one which is rugged olive obviously got a thing for olives um, and I've just swatched those two dark ones these are both Valspar colours swatched those two over here in a slightly darker area um, and I think I like both but I feel like I'm predominantly drawn to this one so those sample pots they're massive but they're only three pounds which in comparison to like five pounds for a fire on ball test pot is much better so I think we're going to go um, maybe today and get some more options for the neutral colours because it's just going to be at the moment this wall which is done in the like slightly more statement colour but for now that's all we can do until we go to lunch. So we're just gonna have a bit of a tidy up and then have a shower, get changed, go to lunch, and then we'll be back cracking on again this afternoon slash evening. Good evening, everyone. We are in the process of relaying the floor. We've got this far. You getting a sweat on? Mm. Awesome, it was getting out, not it? That's an easier one for me. Yeah, straight away. Smooth AF. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be this little nub in here. Mm. 
Yeah. Right, it is, I don't know what the time is, half five. The flooring we have managed to get down and the skirting boards we've just kind of propped up and left because we need to cut some of them because we kind of shuffled them around. We need to buy an extra length for on this wall, but we're just kind of holding fire on that for a minute. Um, and yeah, as you can see, we've put the bed back in kind of initially where we were thinking of having it on that wall so that you can at least get out both sides of the bed. And then we've also added some new swatches. This little swatch area over here is looking <laughs> like an army just spat all over the wall. Look at that. So we've added, this is a pharaoh and bull colour. This is genuine pharaoh and bull paint as well. This is called Old White, I think. And this is also a pharaoh and bull colour, but this has been mixed by Valspar and this is called Lichen, 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 Dunno. So yeah, basically I only did those two swatches and added them all over the other walls as well this evening when it was dark. So we need to wait until tomorrow so we can reassess all of the colours. But yeah, happy that at least we got the floor done today. Greetings everyone. It is now Sunday sometime in the afternoon, in the PM. We have not really done a great deal today because we're kind of having to pause for the moment. We've just got lots of plans to kind of make for this room. And then we need to talk to our trades guys that are coming back tomorrow to start on the front half of the basement. So we need to talk to them about doing a few bits and bobs, extra bits in here as well. However, I have swatched a lot more colours. I'm going to twizzle you guys around so I can talk you through them. So yeah, I have been swatching like crazy. Now obviously it's going a little bit dark at the moment so you can't see all of these in natural light. This is all in artificial light so this is not very accurate but over here, god I've got so many swatches. Interior designers will tell you you're not supposed to do this because it overwhelms you but for me personally this is my process. <laughs> So I have, I think, decided on a colour, I think, but I'm going to sleep on it and then see tonight if it's still the colour or the colours, because obviously we have neutrals dotted around as well. See if that is still the colour that I prefer. However, today I discovered something about the Valspar colour mix, which I feel like I need to share with you all. Right, so for anyone that has used the Valspar colour mix, service before you'll know that you just head to the Valspar counter you give them your sample and they use this little machine that scans it into their system now what I did not know despite the numerous times that I have been to the scanning station to the Valspar counter is that actually once the machine scans it and it goes onto the computer the computer generates a percentage to how close of a match to the item that's been scanned that that is and the guy who was helping me today with my last few samples literally just told me that. And I was like, this is life changing because my tip to you guys would be they can actually recalibrate the machine. So if you get a result of like 0 0.49, 0 0.52, whatever, that basically means that that is a percentage of accuracy. So anything from like... 0.20 and upwards is not going to be the very best match so i would just ask or i would just advise that you ask to see the screen when they're scanning and to see that little number so it'll be a naught point or it could even be a, if it's ever a one point literally don't buy that paint because it's not a good match and if essentially every time they scan even if it's the exact same sample every time they scan that sample that number will come out differently and they can recalibrate the machine and it can come out better so i would just ask them to keep scanning until you get a really good number so that is my tip because that's why i spent about two hours in b&q this morning so yes swatching has been done um what else have we done today ah oh, 
Simon probably wants to show you these. You've been designing something today, haven't you? With your help. Oh, we kind of did it together. I'm going to show you guys. It was annoying now, wasn't it? Because we had to change it after we put the doors on, didn't we? We did have to change it. It was quite annoying and they yeah, gave us no warning. Time. But essentially, this is going to be, if it focuses at some point, Simon's new wardrobe, which as you can see from the little thing, I was able to customise it. So this is the door. So it's basically going to go here. And let's see, Simon's even drawn it on the wall. <laughs> Very nice, isn't it? Yeah, design. we did. We did a collaboration on your wardrobe. So Ikea's really good. They obviously have like super space saving options. So you might be able to see on the floor the tape as to how far out, because we're going for the... I don't know what you would call it, narrow or not very deep version of the PAX wardrobes. So yeah, we're basically just on here trying to figure out the configuration of everything. And this is kind of what we've designed. So hopefully, maybe in the next vlog, we can start or we can order it and hopefully put it together. And on top of all of that, I have also done a little bit of rejiggery in my wardrobe so that my coats, and essentially so that this new wardrobe will all be Simon. So all my coats are now in my wardrobe and I've had, um, I kind of like in between a mini and a major clear out. <laughs> I've, I've seriously minimized my wardrobe. So I might, do a video like a fashion video on that at some point in the future but obviously this is our priority at the moment because we just want to get out of living in a pigsty essentially with all this mess um so yeah it has been like a relatively productive day in terms of organizing and stuff we just haven't managed to actually get anything done in here but obviously we have the flooring done we've just got decisions to make paint will probably be in the next vlog but yeah, things are on the move. So thank you guys for sticking with us for another DIY with the creases video. And yeah, we will catch you guys in the next vlog, which of course will be next Wednesday. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get back to being able to do my Sunday videos. Hopefully soon, it's all kind of time and mess dependent. So we'll catch you in the next one for now. Bye.